Thank you and welcome back to our new video. My name is Raphael. Again, welcome back on Meet the Diaspora. Today, we are here to talk about various facades and the various meanings about the diaspora. If you have not yet subscribed, please tap on the subscribe button. It is free. Do you know that? It is utterly free. Also, do not forget to smash the notification bell so that anytime that our new video comes out, you should be the first one to receive it and watch it. Isn't it wonderful? Yet, stay tuned. I'll be shortly right back. Today, we are going to have understanding of the word diaspora. The word diaspora has been used in various content, in various places, in various circumstances that we find ourselves in. For example, the word diaspora, according to the dictionary, it says, if you are a diaspora, you are scattered population, you are a scattered population whose origin lies in a separate geographic, geographical local. The word diaspora was used to refer to the mass dispersion of a population from its indigenous territory. The word diaspora comes from the Greek word dispersion. Diaspora, it means that dispersion. In Hebrew, in Hebrew, it means galut, it means exile. So the dispersion of a population, you are dispersed, you are no longer in the country or in the territory where you are born in. In another word, if you are from Ghana, you are born in Ghana. You're supposed to live in Ghana, right? Okay, so now you are not in Ghana, but you are living here in America. I give an example of myself. Like me, I was born in Ghana, right? So, but for a long period of time, I'm no longer residing and living in Ghana, and I am here residing and living in the United States for so long. So, I am a diaspora. I am a diaspora, so are you. If you are from Togo, you are from Nigeria, you are from Benin, you are from Cote d'Ivoire, you are from South Africa, you are from Kenya, and you are not living in the territory of your, where you are nationals, then you are living in the United States, or if you are watching me, you are Kenya, uh, 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 you are a Gambian, uh, you are Syria Leonia, uh, you are from Cap Verde, you are from Burkina Faso, you are from Ethiopia, you are from Gabon, you are from Central Africa, and you are not living in that territory, and you are in another country. You are in France right now, you are living in England right now, you are living in Scotland right now, so you are a diaspora, a diaspora. So. The word diaspora from the Greek word diaspora, direct diaspora is like you are dispersed. You are dispersed. You are being moved to another place, whether it is by compulsion, whether it's by exile, whether it's by your own desire, by your own decision. So you are part of the diaspora. So there are various kind of diaspora also we have. We have political diaspora, we have economical diaspora, we have a spiritual diaspora. Also, we have also, uh, we can also put in in, a, in that, in one of the group of economical diaspora, uh, uh, economical diaspora in that group, you can also uh, talk about people who left their country, they got a scholarship, you know, they call it scholarship from their country, from their school that, uh, you know, uh, uh, before college or right after 
you know, they are going to enter into the college level. They leave the country because they are one of the best. Uh, they are chosen, you know, according to uh, certain competition, uh, certain competencies. So they got a scholarship or they got a grant and they move to oversee or they move to another country, whether the Europe, the Asia, you know, somewhere in China, somewhere in America, in Mexico, whatever. So you are also a diaspora. So that brings me to say that if you are watching this, you are not watching it by coincidence. We're going to talk about all the various facades. So you know which one integrally, which one specifically you are part of, whether you are spiritual diaspora, whether you are economical diaspora, whether you are political diaspora, wherever you fit in, that's why this channel is best for you. We learn together and what are some of the things that we can bring back we can bring back to where we come from because I believed that in the history of the world in the history of nation history of the nations the diaspora have always played bigger roles essential roles when I talk about you being a doctor a medical doctor you being a psychologist Will you be beautician? You be any kind of profession that you have right now. You have a role to play. You have a role to play for where you come from. You have some add-on to give. That's integrally what you are here for. And then also, as I mentioned in my previous video, many of us in the diaspora, many of the diaspora outside their country, they started a family, they have a family, and their children are born in the family. So what are some of the roles, uh, some of the things that we can involve these children in? because not only they are born in the diaspora, but they are also born in another country. And for some of us who started from home, where you come from, your home country, we tend to inculcate our culture into them in the strange land or in the diaspora where we are living or residing. So what are some of the challenges what are some of the things that uh, some of the valuable things or some of the values that we can also uh, 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 give our children and for our children to know that where their parents come from, what they can do, how they can help build back, back the country. So the country or the continent that we are talking about, many talking about, is the black continent. It's the African continent. So how do we go back and give back and build back and change and make things evolve and transform where we come from, the continent of Africa. When I say that uh, we are going to talk about the beauty of Africa, the beauty might not be straightforward, the physical beauty. We know the challenges of Africa. We know Africa uh, with its many countries they are developing right now. We are not there. But when you see various diaspora, various countries that are doing well right now, like China, their diaspora has played a big role, a very big role in their development. So, sometimes there are things that we don't need to think much about, to reflect on so too much. 
what we're supposed to do and what we can do is to pray and think and act. Pray, think and act. And I believe that the 21st century, things are moving on fast. We could see right now a new currency is dominating the world called cryptocurrency. We could hear just recently Elon Musk, the creator and the CEO or the founder of Tesla, how is building ships, IO ships, to go to the moon, to go to the, the galaxy in few hours, in few days. And if you are a millionaire, you can pay your way in and out. We hear Mark Zuckerberg just recently inventing a new, complete, another level of uh, technology called Meta, or Metaverse. So, are we evolving in the diaspora? Are we adjusting in the diaspora? What are we doing? Are we at the same place? With all these things that are around us, with all these things that are, we are living, we are experiencing, and we are experimenting, where is our place in the global economy as a diaspora? Where is our place in our spiritual advancement? If you are a minister, if you are a gospel minister, where is your place right now? It starts right in your family, in your home, before it can get out. What is you preaching? What is you teaching your congregation about it? It is not about only tithing. It is not about giving offering. How your congregation has been developing as well. If you are in the spiritual domain, you are called a pastor, you are called a minister, you are called a bishop, you are called a prophet and an apostle. We have come from, we must come from the standpoint that the Bible talk about, the Bible will call you as a church, such people, a shepherd. And as a shepherd, you are be given, you are be ordained to lead a sheep, not goats. So my question to you is, are you leading goats or are you leading sheep? If you are here, you come from the economical reasons and there you have achieved a lot. Your knowledge, is it imparting the society, your diaspora society? Is it imparting something back to the, your motherland, your, the continent of Africa, your country which is situated in Africa? Where are you exactly? If you are political diaspora, mostly here we understand that uh, as Africa is, is a developing continent, it is the next big thing. Now that you are in exile, now that you have come here, you have learned so much. You have come to a place where you are being received, you have been fed, you have, you have received a lot of education. If you still condemn the people back there, not conducting our political arena very well, so what are you going to bring back that is better than them. That's why me, the diaspora, is going to bring all these answers. It's going to bring the young diaspora that are also born here, their expectation, their education, their experience, knowledge, understanding. We are going to interact. We are going to ask questions. When specifically some of the questions pertaining to the young diaspora, the children, the, our teenagers that are born over here, they rise to the age where they are teenagers, they rise to the age where they are adolescent right now. Some of the pertinent questions that uh, we have to understand as a parent in the diaspora is that 
is your son, is your doctor, considering himself as an American, if you're in America, considering, considering himself as a French, considering himself as English, or considering himself as this Belgian, German, Austrian, and various can are they considering themselves like this rather than being a Ghanaian, being a Togolese, being uh, from Botswana, being Ivorian from Cote d'Ivoire? Where are they exactly? These are some of the things that uh, we have to evolve in. Knowledge is power. That's the reason why this channel, Meet the Diaspora on Africa Zone, is best for you. That's the one of the main reasons why you must subscribe. That's the main reason why you should be part of it. Just subscribing to this channel, you are participating. And this is why I believe that we should all share in our community of the diaspora to bring Africa to the next level. To show the people the value, the culture, everything about it, whether economic, whether spiritual, where are you? What are you going to bring back? Whether social, in the 21st century, we cannot sit down. Every other diaspora is playing part of what is happening. We must be part of it. Great men in the Bible, great men in the history, Tamu feel me to call or to name few like Nkrumah, Lumumba, they were part of the diaspora, but anytime they came back. Some of biblical example, some people like Moses, some people like Joseph, many of them, some people like Daniel, some people like uh, uh, Queen um, Esther, they were part of the diaspora, but they play a huge role in the development of their own nation. Being African diaspora, can you look yourself in the mirror and how and what do you look like right now as you are listening to me? I believe that there's a clarion call to be part of the movement, to be part of the media diaspora. For now, I think I'll stop here and you shall see me in my next video. Thank you very much. As I said, do not forget to subscribe if you like what you see, if you like what you hear. Tap also on the notification bell so that anytime that our video comes out, you should be the first to receive it and watch it. Thank you very much. My name again is Rafael. Have a wonderful evening. See you soon.